San Diego Opera, and that is where we find KUSI meteorologist Dave Scott tonight. Actually, maybe even behind the scenes. <laughs> Dave? Well, I got to tell you this, uh, John and Sasha, they, can, they could, if they wanted to here at the San Diego Opera, they could actually create the weather. Because if you look up, I don't know how high we can point the camera, but it's about four or five stories up there cables and wires and lights and curtains and it is just incredible. The show that they're putting on tonight is called Murder in the Cathedral. It's one of the shortest plays that they'll have here at the San Diego Opera and they're almost at the conclusion of the season so if you get a chance to come on out you've got to do it. And coming up in just a moment I'm going to give you your weather forecast but this place is absolutely incredible when you walk around here. Everybody's all the crew is back here making sure they're getting ready. There's a lot of notes that have to be taken and all the props have to be put in place. And a lot of people working very hard to make sure that this play goes off very nicely. Okay. And then you are going to be amazed to not only meet but to listen to our next guest. That's coming up at just a moment. Let's talk weather. Because if they wanted to, if you just take a look up, up there, you see the lights four or five stories up and all the cables and all the curtains. Take a look at current conditions at Lindbergh Field right now. It's been a beautiful day in San Diego. We started out with gray skies, and so temperatures right now looking pretty good. Uh, we started off with uh, no drizzle, but it was gray, and by mid-morning, we did get a little bit of sunshine in San Diego, and then plenty of sunshine once you get to the inland valleys. Temperatures at Lindbergh Field today hit 68 degrees, and that's been absolutely marvelous. And uh, so we're back in the ball game as far as temperatures go for this time of the year. We'll start cooling down though over the next couple of days and uh, for a chance of a little morning drizzle once we hit Monday. And then temperatures will be on the rise. So get ready for that as we head towards Easter Sunday. Now, speaking about Easter, Here's your sunrise times because uh, some of the most popular places, of course, will be Mount Helix, Mount Soledad, and Balboa Park. And uh, sunrise tomorrow morning will be 6.38 uh, early in the morning if you're going to be heading out for Easter sunrise services. Now, a man with one of the most beautiful voices in all of the world. And I'm just going to sit here as we introduce Ferruccio Furlanetto. Sir, you know, this is one of the few interviews I can do from a distance because your voice is absolutely marvelous. Welcome. Talk about your role tonight. You have the lead role of Thomas Beckett in Murder in the Cathedral. And give us an idea as to who is your character. Stunning character, stunning opera, and I am very, very much attached to this character. He's an amazing personality. I mean, it has been, and it is subject for theater, it has been subject for movies. We remember Richard Burton in one of these. And, uh, and, they, and they have you all made up in a, in a little ways. Well, when you. Yeah. This is the more or less the way I like to present myself. This is my third production in this in this opera, and I always use the same the same wig. And in fact, let me have you come down the stairs Certainly. as you would, because this is not just uh, behind the scenes here. I'll have you sit here, Ferruccio. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, but this is your cathedral, because Thomas Beckett was actually. A priest. Thomas Beckett, well, before being a priest, Thomas Beckett was a chancellor of Henry II. He was a, a very cunning and well-prepared politician. And then he decided also with the permission of the king to be priest because the king thought that to have an archbishop, and he became archbishop very, very fast, to have an archbishop of on his part, it would, been, it would have been much easier to handle the, the situation with the Pope and the Vatican, which didn't happen at all because Beckett, when he became priest, archbishop, this, of course, felt that the power of God was coming before. Well, the power of this show is going to be something, and I hope you get a chance to see it tonight. When we come back, we're going to chat with you further, and perhaps you can end on a beautiful, because by the way, you know, when he 
just when he speaks, it sounds like music. You guys, we're going to have more of that when we come back. All right, Dave, that is one powerful voice, huh, Sasha? It's a very, very rich voice. Yeah. Love it. We're going to check in with Dave Scott now, who is in a very special place this evening. He is downtown, backstage, waiting for, well, anticipating a highly, highly touted production by the San Diego Opera. Dave? Well, just over there, you can see one of the priests. It looks like one of the priests has just stepped out. He'll be taking the stage front and center in just a little while. Did he do in Thomas Beckett? It's called Murder in the Cathedral. And it's one of the shortest plays that the San Diego Opera will do all season. The second to the last play, and it goes on. Well, about 20 minutes, they start. Now, today, our weather played out rather nicely. We started out with gloom and a dark picture. Clouds everywhere in San Diego. And then by mid-morning, things started to get a little better. And how are they now? Well, take a look at current conditions at Lindbergh Field. Maybe it's not all as dramatic as we're making it out to be, but beautiful right now. And, uh, of course, the sun will be setting in just a little while, right after the play gets rolling. And it was a beautiful day in San Diego today. Big area of low pressure. We got to 68 degrees at Lindbergh Field today, and that was beautiful. Temperatures back to where they should be for this time of the year. And, of course, tomorrow is a big day, too, because everyone's going to be going to Easter sunrise services. I'll have those times for you in just a little while because sun will be getting up tomorrow at 638. Area of low pressure just off the California coastline. Over the next couple of days, that pushes in, and we see a chance of showers just very briefly Monday morning. But for tomorrow, we're just going to see the morning clouds with us for your Easter sunrise services, and temperatures will be just slightly cooler tomorrow and into Monday uh, than they were today. And then a ridge of high pressure builds in and we'll start warming up and we'll see plenty of sunshine. Meanwhile, around the rest of the nation, a cold front slips on through and heading towards the Ohio Valley after going through Texas today, Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, and of course tonight, uh, be going through Chicago and the Ohio Valley. So they'll get some wet weather there. And temperatures behind that will still be nice all the way down in the south, still be in the mid-70s. All right, your sun and sea waves two to four feet. And, of course, it swells on the west every nine seconds. Water temperature 58 to 62. And uh, diving visibility has been 15 to 20 with a moderate surge at La Jolla Cove and the shores there. Temperatures tomorrow are still going to be nice. In the 60s tomorrow along the coast, we'll still get... About 70 degrees in the inland valleys tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. It's not until Monday that we see a chance of misty showers in the morning. So our KUSI Supercast 7-day outlook, not much change along the coast, still the mid-60s most of the week. Uh, but then a little bit of a bump in temperatures by Wednesday in, into Thursday in the inland valleys. Temperatures will be back into the mid-70s. And then uh, the mountain areas look pretty good. We'll actually hit 70 a couple of times. And then the desert areas will actually be into the low, almost mid-90s by Wednesday into Thursday and Friday. So some warming up going on in San Diego once that system, that area of low pressure, moves on through. Now, Easter sunrise services, 638 will be sunrise, and there's Mount Helix and Mount Soledad and Balboa Park. Okay, now, get ready. Look up there. Look up on the stage. There he is, the director of the San Diego Opera, Mr. Ian Campbell, ah, thank you. It is an honor, sir, to be with you tonight. It's so good to see you again. It's wonderful to be together here. It really is. This is a, this kind of an eerie start uh, backstage. Everything's dark and, well, you know, we're sort of in a cathedral. Except let me show you the window because this is rather interesting in itself. Let's have a look. So this is the, it's like the, the one of the world's. It looks like the largest stained glass window in the world. <laughs> it actually does. It it features Beckett and uh, the King Henry II, and that's what the audience is looking at right now from the other side. That's what they're seeing. They know they're in a church, and we're pretty well ready to roll in a few minutes. The timing in this play is pretty good, actually, because uh, if if you look at the timing of Easter and the, um, well, the whole uh, story 
a murder in the cathedral, the life and times of Thomas Beckett. It's all, there's a relationship, correlation there. There, there actually is, because uh, it's the Catholic Church that we're dealing with here. Some people thought it was the Church of England, but the Church of England was 400 years after this. So we're dealing with popes and we're dealing with conflict between church and state. And to have it happen at Easter is uh, quite, uh, I think, interesting. And in the paper today, when our advertisement appeared, there was a picture of the Pope above it. So I think that might be significant in itself. And, it, and for it to happen here on this stage is pretty important. And one of the big reasons is the person that is playing Thomas Beckett. Exactly. Ferruccio has been a friend of mine for a long time. Ferruccio Ferlinetto is truly the greatest bass in the world today. He's been coming to this company now for 28 years. This is a work he's always wanted to do. I've wanted to do it since the 1970s, and everything came together the right way. Well, Ian Campbell, thank you very much, my friend. This is it's a, it's a, an honor to be backstage here and to see that. Can you see that? John and Sasha, take a look at that huge stained glass window that it just it gives you a, a sense of feeling there that you are inside a cathedral uh, and of course um, I'm not sure if it's a happy ending or not. Uh, it's not a happy ending if it were a happy ending then he wouldn't get stabbed to death he wouldn't have his entrails pulled out and his brain scattered. Yeah you know that when you that those things happen that's usually the sign that it's not a happy ending. It's a very bad day. All right. Ian Campbell, thank you very much. Thank you. The play starts in just a little while, doesn't just it? Just a little while. And if a I stay minutes. up here on this stage any longer, we'll actually be end up being a part of it. You'll have to be a priest. All right. Do you qualify? Well, at the moment, uh, I, people would say probably no. 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 Most of us don't. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. All right. Back okay. to you, John. All right. Well, the opera, Murder in the Cathedral, opened tonight at the San Diego Civic Theater downtown. The opera tells the story of the brutal murder of Thomas Beckett, the Archbishop of Canterbury, in 1170, while defending his church against the intrusions of King Henry II. The opera has not been performed in the U.S. since it was written more than a half century ago, and it stars world-renowned actor Ferruccio Ferlinetto. And Ferruccio Ferlinetto is truly the greatest bass in the world today. He's been coming to this company now for 28 years. This is a work he's always wanted to do. I've wanted to do it since the 1970s, and everything came together the right way. And there are three more performances scheduled. You can find out more information online at sdopera.com.